Hey everybody, today we are doing a fitness goal update. This has been a wild year, 2024. It started out with me breaking my pelvis. From there, it's just it's just been crazy, right? I had fitness goals this year. My goals were run a marathon. I did that right before I broke my pelvis. Do a full Ironman and do an ultra. And so me breaking my pelvis in the beginning of the year really threw things for a wrench. And right before they took me into surgery, I was already asking, hey, am I going to be able to do this Ironman? It's on October 27th. And when you see this video, that's going to come out the day before the Ironman. And I'm happy to announce that after breaking my pelvis on May 15th, I was able to lightly start training. And I've been training ever since. And I will be partaking in that Ironman tomorrow. And it is going to be an exciting because one, it's the hardest thing I've ever been involved in. And that's an ultimate challenge to myself and a reason to continue pushing my fitness and my grit and my consistency to a whole new level. And I think that's really important as anyone. I don't care if you're a business owner or or, or a person working for a company or, or wherever you're at in life. Seeking hard things, seeking uncomfortable things makes you grow. I've grown more this year. I've had more crazy changes this year, business, personal, than I've ever had in my life. And I, I feel like this year has been just an exceptional year of development. And I could look at it as really, really bad because I had a kind of not the best start, but it's been telling and it's been very, very cool to prove to myself what you can push through and and and, and grow through. And on the other side of that, how rewarding some of these things can be. So I'm extremely excited for tomorrow. And I'm glad to share this update. I can't wait to share the update. One, that we complete the Ironman with my times, how it went. We're going to have a video about it as well. And then the completion of the ultra later on this year, which is going to be a hundred mile ultra, being able to stick with those things, even though we had crazy stuff happen in the beginning of the year, the, the pelvis got broke. You know, I didn't know. I didn't even know. I lagged forever on buying my ticket to Ironman because I didn't know if I was going to recover fast enough. So I initially bought my December 14th ticket for the ultra because I know no matter what, that's really far out there. I'll at least make that. But Ironman, it's in October. It's a little more questionable. So I lagged and lagged and lagged. I hit this point of where I was like, man, if I can start training light at May 15th, that's going to give me some time. I think I can make this happen. I just ran a marathon earlier this year. I was already cycling. Luckily, I went into this in really good condition. And now I believe that I'm coming out of all of that, all that tragedy, all that trauma, all that fear of, hey, am I going to be okay? Healthier than I've ever been, fitter than I've ever been, and mentally stronger and more developed than I've ever been to handle what life throws at me. That's something we can all get out of bad situations. We can look at what life gave to you and not so much look at it as like what happens to me, but what happens for me as a tool to help develop me into the better version of myself. Because each day I'm changing and each day I'm trying to get better so I can be better for everybody around me. And so if you see me in a year from now, I'm not going to be who I was now. And I hope that's the case because if I haven't changed at all, well, then I've really, really dropped the ball on what I'm trying to do because I'm trying to be better for everyone around me, my kids, my family, my team all the time. And that requires me to be in painful situations and uncomfortable situations, whether that be injury, whether that be financial, whether that just be something I'm just uncomfortable with. And I can tell you, swimming, finding out that the swim is 2.4 miles originally, I remember that terrified me. And it has been something that I have hated almost the whole time training through. And I finally got to where I kind of like swimming. And being able to revel in that thing that you totally just, man, I'm doing it and I don't even like it, but I'm going to get over the hump. That ability to put away the, I don't really want to do it. And train that part of your brain to be like, hey, dude, get the fuck out of here. I don't care if I want to do it. I'm going to do it anyway. Is truly something that now looking back, I have enjoyed so much. And I've got so much value from. So really excited to give you this update. Really excited. If you've watched this whole thing, leave it in a comment below. I'm excited for you to finish this race. I can't wait to share that with you. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Share this with someone else. But this will inspire that no matter what happens to you, you can still pick things up, get rocking and rolling and move forward.